Let's open up the gates. All right, Rogue oh, Mage Priest yeah. there. You couldn't ask for it any better. Uh, no, you definitely could not. We saw Method Black, like you said, completely dismantle Temple Storm, but Ascendant is a different beast in this Rogue Mage Priest matchup. And we talked about how bad this matchup can snowball. We'll have to see which team gets an ideal opener. Both Rogue's are going to be charging in right away. Yeah, mm, actually a sap on Maro. This is going to give a bit of an advantage and edge to Method Black as they can now cleanly set up. Doesn't look like they're capitalizing on the sap, though. They're just waiting it out, but now they have combat. No polymorph DR either for Maro now as we even out. The invises are going to be ending shortly, and as soon as they do, I can imagine the rogues are going to immediately jump onto the mages who are in center field. Akron Waz, they have to make a decision. Kidney shots onto the priest as both teams identically mirror each other. Icy Veins used as well in the opener. This could be an explosive start. Yep, Morrow uses the Temporal Shield to deflect some of this damage. Raku does as well, but it gets dispelled off. Icy Veins used by both mages here. Polymorph on Maro. Raku playing a little bit defensive here. Maybe just wanted to slow down some of the offense coming in from Ascendant, but really no, not too much damage has come out for either team. All right, we see a blind on Ratapai. He's going to use his trinkets to get out of that blind, not used just yet for Waz. Both these teams used their hardest hitting cooldowns right off the bat, and nothing even happened. Now a kidney shot on Chaz. Here's some pressure onto Raikou. Caught into the cheap shots. Chaz into the poly. Mind control on Waz. Triple crowd control for Ascendant. This could easily be the ice block force from Raikou. They are going to drop the mind control. Potential mass dispel. Not able to find it, unfortunately. Ratapai getting interrupted. The ice block is going to sit. Chaz is going to recover. Trinket now traded out for blind. There's a lead for Ascendant. Yeah, there's an opportunity now if they can get another polymorph on a Chaz. They could be able to take down Raikou before that second ice block gets off cooldown from that uh, uh, debuff that they have. Fear now on to Chaz. Raikou gets counterspelled. Acro all over him. He gets get the death group to safety. Was taking a little bit of damage, though. Ascendant has big pressure. Marl into the cheap shot. Watch trying to respond here a little bit of crowd control from himself. Full polymorph on the Ratapai. He actually uses the premonition very nicely done. Raikou gets to follow up polymorph, but Ratapai deflects that very nicely. Yeah, but Chaz moves in for a psychic scream. Acro's in a poly. It's a three on one on Maro. He ice blocks at full HP and then ultimately got mass dispelled on it. He's going to be on hypothermia. Ratapai trying to pick him back up using that human racial to get out of a stun. Maro getting polymorphed away. Ratapai really wants to try and get a fear on Chaz very shortly. Waz looking for a re stealth. He manages to get it. He gets pulled out. He's trying to take advantage of the subterfuge. Actually saps Maro to the poly. It's not going to be too much. Maro, preemptive temp shield. Chaz needs to get that off. They managed to purge it off with the poly on a ratify. Eight seconds away from that trinket. Maro on the run. Sap out of the poly. Walls on fire. Double fear secured. Will Maro block? Yes. Ice block force. Master spell time. Maro completely alone in a 3v1. Ratify barely getting out of that second stream. Connects a penance. Stabilizing Maro. But now, advantage in favor of Method Black. Yeah, Raikou doing a really good job in this matchup. Controlling up Acro. Spamming up the polymorphs. And now, spamming up Maro controlling him, so Ascendant doesn't have an opportunity to get their offensive go. Kidney shot now onto Chaz. Maro, unfortunately, not going to be able to find the crowd control. Big damage now onto Maro in the cheap shot. No uh, no CC break for Ratapai, actually. Maro's going to be able to survive. Ratapai holding onto his trinket there. There's a fear, though, pushing in from Chaz. Ratapai has to trade his trinket for that. Now susceptible to a full wind a little bit later on. Counter fear now onto Chaz as Maro stabilizes, but still Ascendant not able to find damage so far in this matchup. There's no opening for Ascendant right now. It should just be an easy Easy KO with a blind on Ratify, and they're just waiting to do that. In the meantime, Ascendant are doing whatever they can get to the second ice block. They managed to get it very early on. I mean, Raikou commits this because he knows they just win the game with blind. And there's the blind. He goes, goes out of the block. He knows immediately this is the win condition. Polly's out of the blind. Maro at a three on two, but he's not able to do it, I don't think. He smells as a shield. Temp, temp shield's about to go off. That's going to heal him for a lot, I think. No, uh, not at all, actually. Shields are absorbing damage. That should have been the win right there. Akro gets a sap on Waz, and suddenly Raikou's on the back foot. Yeah, Akro did a great job blinding up he had no trinket, followed up by the sack, and that is going to allow Senate to survive that setup. Get a little bit aggressive here on a Raikou, who does not have an ice block either. Full fear now on a Chaz. Kidney shot on Ratapai. Akro getting controlled up. Nicely done by Raikou as he does everything he can to keep himself alive in this situation. Big SWAT now over under Akro. The frozen arm gets dropped. Can they take him down? And they ultimately do. Method Black changing up their target and taking game number one. And changing up their entire strategy. Black to really grab this one by the throat, be able to take down this mirror matchup that has been so back and forth in the past. Will Method Black get to prove that they are the better rogue mage at this mirror? This is really the best high quality arena you could ask for if you're watching at home. Both of these teams are easily the best rogue mage priests in the world right now, going head to head. If you haven't told your friends to tune in, tell them right now.
Yeah, once again, we'll have to see how these ropes decide to open up. Actually, we saw in the last game, Waz landed that sap on Amaro, but it was actually right as Amaro went into invisibility. So, like we saw, he couldn't he couldn't capitalize on that, unfortunately. Um, Waz in a decent position right now. Ratapai is opting to sit back. Chaz taking the center field on that center team. So he's going to be throwing out a few dispels onto Ratapai to get himself to combat. All right, both priests trying to sneak in on each other, maybe purge off some shields as the mages invises are going to be ending. Maro gets combat on chest to deny a sap. Frostbolt trades in midfield to build up icicles. Maro looking for polys as both teams mirror each other. It's a race. All cooldowns blown from both sides. Acro pre-cloaks the cheap shot, expecting a swap. Maro now getting bursted. Temp shields blinks away. Waz all over him. Maro frost nova blinks away. Waz vanishes out. Temp shield will explode. Gratify gets second streamed away, but Waz is just going for damage, trying to get a block off the back of this crowd control. They get it. Will Chaz land the master spell? Doesn't look like he's even going to go for it. Method Black get a lead. Yeah, Morrow drop, jumps out of that ice block very, very quickly. Wants to get aggressive on a Raikou, but Raikou, once again, he's just kiting away. Acro not there to get the follow-up stuns. Raikou just line of sighting him. Waz now all over Morrow once again. Chaz into the kidney shot, into the fear. Do they have the damage to take down Raikou? Force out that ice block. Smoke bomb gets dropped by Waz. Very nice. That means Morrow's not going to be able to get any damage out onto Raikou. So that was a smart play there by Waz. All right, we see a kidney shot on Ratapai. Chaz is moving in to follow up if they can't get the Ring of Frost, but they get it. And Morrow's in trouble. That's the second block. That's the spell instantly. Morrow temp shields, he's on the run. Acro doing everything to get Morrow off of Morrow, or to get Waz off of Morrow. Morrow's hanging up by a thread, there's really not a lot left. They go for the DR blind to find a kill, and Waz knows exactly how much time he needs to get a kill. Beth and Black are on fire in this mirror, leading the series now 2 to 0. Honestly, all of a sudden, that's going to put you massively on the back foot. So, they. Azana just needs to, to clean that up a little bit, and they can they are definitely in it still. Ra Raikou's become terrifying, which is just insane that he's kicked up his intensity here. Will it be enough to get Method Black on match point here? Gate open. He may be fighting in the sewers, but it may as well be Mount Olympus, as both of these teams are basically gods of their craft on this rogue mage priest. Ratapai looking to set up some shields. Maru and Raikou are obviously going to be the primary targets for each team to race down. They're currently invisible to each other, but that timer is ticking down. How are they going to pull this? They run right across each other. They don't even see each other. Waz is waiting. Chaz is ready on the bottom. Acro is moving in for a kidney shot. Raikou is going to open up with some frostbolt, build up the icicles, kidney shot onto Chaz. No kidney shot just yet onto Ratapai as they are a little bit behind here. Raikou gets caught out first. Temp shield is over. A kick under Raikou. There's going to be a lot of damage potentially following that up. Maybe even switch over to Waz. He's down at half as well. They do make the swap onto Waz. He triggers immediately and vanishes out. Yeah, that was very nicely done by Ascendant. They couldn't catch Raikou, so they make the swap onto Waz, get his trinket, get some defensive cooldowns rolling. Ascendant doing a good job there. Ratapai already trading out his trinket. Chaz, though, still has that available. Waz now getting polymorphed up. You can see Mar doing a better job in this game, controlling it out, stalling out some of these ghosts coming in from Method Black. Waz now charging in, gets the full kidney shot, uh, full kidney shot onto Ratapai. Chaz moves in for the fear. Nice ring of frost coming in from Raikou. And now Morrow in a situation where he's in a lot of trouble, but they make another swap over onto Waz. Can they get the second trinket if he even gets out of it? Looks like he's going to be completely fine. Morrow's the one who's taking most of the damage, and the second ice block is forced out. Can they find the match spell? No, Acro is there for the kick. Nice interrupt by Acro, but they're spending so much time going after Waz that they've got no blocks from Raikou. Now ice block over for Mar. Waz drops the smoke bomb, looking for the kill. Penances are flying in. Waz goes for a GR cheap shot. Is it long enough? It might just be. Life grip off the Frost Nova. Maro trying to kite away, but a full poly sneaks in. To the back of this defensive ring of frost, but Raikou in trouble as well. Ice block it up 5% to deny the Evan Bolt. Temp shield's gonna go off, but Raikou can still fall. Maro's on 10%. He might have to use his second ice block. Both priests are no longer cracked, so Maro trades out the second block. But at this point, both mages are out of blocks. Chaz caught into a psychic stream. Maro could possibly end this. Evan Bolt being casted, not able to follow it up. Waz denies it. Maro trinkets and blinks away. Ratify got into a kidney shot. Raikou gets denied on the poly by Acro. Acro, MVP this game to stop the setups from Raikou. Yeah, Raikou had to use his cold snap there to get that ice block off. So now, to send it in a position where they basically tied up these defensive cooldowns. Full polymorph now secured over onto Chaz. But Raikou just polymorphing up Maro over and over and over, slowing down this go. And they really weren't able to get too much. A nice sap coming in from Waz. That was huge. If he can reconnect on tomorrow, they can get the CC on the Ratapai. That's going to be a huge lead. Follow up Polymorph over onto Acro, but Ratapai just positioned so far away that Method Black wasn't really able to capitalize. Ooh. Nice preemptive psychic screen, but an instant dispel from Chaz. No freeze caught in the crowd control. Anyone could follow at this point. Raikou's polyed on his temp shield. There's no follow up. They don't land the Polymorphs. Waz is getting cheap shot away. Maro looking for an Evan Bolt. Raikou blinks in, and now Waz actually gets swapped to by Acro for just a couple of seconds. I can imagine they want to get back on the mages. Ratapai caught in the full Polymorph. Maro on the run. He's preemptively kiting away from 
Waz if Waz makes it back on target. Maro is just going to disappear. Waz gets the spell into the Frost Nova. Might even look for a swap to Acro. I don't think he wants to. The Psychic Scream is over. Now Ratify needs to dodge the poly. He manages to get put into a half yard one. Ratify is now going to be at an advantage. Crowd to control diminishing returns are over. Acro uh -oh. is swap, though. He's going to survive. Ratify Trink gets powered. Shield Life Grip saves Acro. I can't believe this game is still going on. It's going to be so tense now. Jazz has the lead with his trinkets, but at any point, an Evan Bolt could just erase one of their opponents. Yeah, both mages have their icy veins available, basically mirroring each other. There's the full blind on the Chaz. He trinkets out. Chief Shot on the Raku. He's going to be taking a little bit of damage as Marl pops that icy veins. Big burst. Kidney Shot now on the Chaz. Do they have the follow-up CC? Full blind on Ratify. Acro has no trinket. They can find him. He's Another so sap on the Acro, but it broke. Marl now could be in some trouble. Zemek, a huge swap on the Waz. No trinket available. Evasion is up, has the vanish in two seconds. Oh. Can he hold on for two more seconds? Gets the vanish off to stay alive. Oh, close call for Waz. He stays alive though, as both teams battle this out. No blocks. Trinket available for Raikou though. He can trinket blink away from a stun lock. Mara will have his shortly. Kidney shot on Ratapai. They need to get a poly off this. Everyone in crowd control, will they find it? No. Ratapai is going to get out of the stun now and easily allow Mara to survive. Mara did burn his trinket though. Acro locked down. Ratapai not able to dispel. Rapture available. Raikou now. Caught into the stun. Jazz into the full polymorph. No premonition there. Raikou trinkets and blinks away from Acro. Acro right on his back though. Temp shield preemptive. They're gonna have to race against it. Lights wrap connects, but it's not enough to race the shield. Temp shield should heal Raikou quite a bit. Jazz still caught in crowd control though. If Maro can connect to Evan Bolt, he's not in line of sight. Raikou trying his best to line of sight, but there's really nothing left. He blinks out the smoke bomb. One second away, but an offensive pull the shadows allows Acro to stay on target. Pull this series back one to two. Oh, that was so nicely done. Watts was almost there. Ascendant finally made their stand in game number three. Game number four is now underway. Every single game between these two tightness teams is like a full-length action-packed movie. Punch down into three minutes of time. If you, like, your heart rate just gets raised instantly when these two teams go against each other. The electricity is just visible. Yeah, it is actually insane to watch these two titans go head-to-head. -head. Waz and Acro, they're going to be positioned so far away from each other. Look at this. Waz is going to be sitting back. I, I guess both rogues want to let the other rogue open. Maybe they can get the follow-up cheap shot onto them and sort of delay the go. Ratify's had enough. He's going to be moving in onto Chaz right now, getting in combat. And that's all six members look to get into the action. All right, Mara with Icy Veins immediately pulled. Riker's going to attempt shield before it go hits him. Now he's trying to reverse with an Icy Veins of his own, attacking Mara. Ratify got into a kidney shot, into a second screen. This is a great power control chain from Method Black. Mara's temp shield goes off, and now it's over. Waz is digging in and gets a block with tons of damage. Yeah, Mara actually using that ice block. I think he might have been able to hold on to that. Ratify was just getting out of the crowd control, but you can't really blame him. Raku getting locked out, and Maro goes for the Evan Bolt, gets kicked. Waz making the hero play. That was a nice smoke bomb coming in, but Raku actually ice blocked anyways, so that was very unfortunate. Yeah, Raikou trying to make something happen here. Chaz, though, caught into a psychic scream as Ascendant looked to strike back. Raikou could possibly still be on hypothermia. Will he be able to survive long enough? Chaz connects power with shield. Raikou lining up an Evan Bolt. Gets denied by Acro. Now Ratify still caught in a psychic scream. Triple crowd control. Maro all alone in the middle of the map. Chaz, instant oh! master spell. The crowd control is faded on Ratify. And it stabilizes Maro. But now advantage is in favor of Ascendant with an ice block lead. Yeah, Raikou's in a good spot in this situation. Maro looking stabilized. But this is what we see. Raikou, he just going to be spamming out the Polymorphs onto Raikou, denying the Frostbolt spam, not allowing him to build up damage, not allowing him to get that CC rolling, which is just so important. Now Kidney Shot on the Chaz, he uses his Human Rage to get out of that. Maro gets locked out, Raikou to the Cheap Shot as well. Both teams looking to get their crowd controls going. There's a Full Fear on to Ratify, nicely done by Chaz. Raikou, though, taking most of the damage in this situation. Frozen Orb gets dropped out by Maro, full blind onto Acro, while the defensive blind to keep Raikou alive. To try and hold on to that Ice Block lead, Looks like that defensive blind into Sap will allow Raikou to hold onto his block, but now Ratify doesn't need to use his trinkets, so Ratify could just use that. Maybe it'll open up a win condition later on. We see a kidney shot onto Ratify. No follow-up, though, from Raikou. He doesn't want to blink in aggressively. Akro's actually looking for a re-stealth. He's going to find a re-stealth. Maybe open on Waz with no trinket, but he gets blizzarded out of stealth. Nice play there from Raikou. Akro crossing the map for a kidney shot onto Chaz. Who is he going to go after? Immediately, though, Raikou just blinks across the map. Ice Nova on Acro to deny a Shadow Step. Raikou sees Chaz in a Polymorph, so he's just going to line aside Acro, maybe look for a Frost Nova. Uh -oh. But Waz catches Acro. He's overextended behind the pillar. He got baited. He got baited by Raikou, and they punish him for it. That was so beautifully done. Acro goes for the Shadow Step kidney shot on the Chaz. Chase first or second here, so it's only really the prize money. They're doing really good on points as well, so yeah, I, th I think Ascendant has just kind of turned off at this point. The, the, 
It takes a lot. Well, they also need the points for BlizzCon, though. They want to try to ensure that this has been a streaky team. They really do want to get those points here. Oh! And the prize money's definitely nice, but insta. Well, this gets the sap on Acro. He's going to shadow step Kidney. He's going on to Ratapai, maybe. No, he's trying to bait him. He gets the Vim, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Boss is just going after everyone. They might go for an all-in on the healer. Ratapai's really not responding. Rapture Archangel at the final second will allow him to recover. I don't know what Waz was thinking there. He just went wild. At least they get the Rapture out of that. Well, he sapped Acro and then actually Shadow stepped over and sapped Morrow as well. Waz getting swapped to. Heat Trink gets out immediately. Still a lot of damage over on Raikou. He gets stabilized instantly. Icy Bane's available for him. So he's trying to get some pressure now onto Morrow. That was nicely done by Waz getting the Trinket from Ratapai very early on. All right, Waz caught in apologies. We see a smoke bomb dropped and Raikou explodes. That's going to be a nice block. No mass to spell. It's denied by a kidney shot. Raikou cancels it to go for a poly. He's going aggressive and gets a nice block of his own. Chaz can't mass the spell. He's caught into his stun. Raikou is now dangerously low on hypothermia. Chaz, Chaz gets out of the blind to also get a psychic scream, which is now going to put Mara on the back foot. They're on match point. Chaz gets cheap shot away. Light Chaz is going to connect. Lots of damage. Life gripped on to Mara. Trying to stabilize. Acro locked down. He's not able to support. Mara is slowly starting to recover. But he is now tied on ice blocks. Raikou still has his trinket. Mara, we're basically even at this point. Both mages are just reloading their icicles and frostbolt. We see a kidney shot onto Ratapai. Preemptive pain suppression and human racial to premonition the incoming polymorph, but he doesn't get it. Raikou's not able to get it, though. Chaz into the poly. Waz gets swapped to. They need a miracle. They have to kill him here. He's on 10%. Will he fall? 1%. He does. Great job by Ascendant. Striking back now. <laughs> 2 to 3. Ascendant has not shut off at all. I think that is the main they didn't make it to top eights all of a sudden you, if you see new teams grabbing those points there is in theory a way that they don't qualify i think method black to just straight up not show up to a third season after the performance that they've ran so far in season one and two and they would be confident but here they want to prove just why they have been that top rating team will they be able to take it here on tobar on arena or will ascend be able to tie up the series i mean the waz effect is a result of raw talent and hours of dedication and hard work but i think it might be a little bit too much from that start of the last game. Waz was just trying to do too much all at the same time, and it, maybe it could have worked. They could have taken Ratapai down. He took the shot, but I think he's going to be dialing it back here for this game. Yeah, we'll have to see how that is set to open up once again. Double Frost Nova coming in for Raikou. Very nicely done. Now Waz is going to do whatever he wants. There's a full kidney shot over onto Chaz. Waz moves in, gets the cheap shot on Morrow. Looking for the kidney shot onto Ratapai, but Ratapai doing a good job with the line of sight. Banner sap now onto Chaz. Big swap onto Waz once again. Ascendant really exploiting these swaps onto Waz, making him very scared. Oh, a swap now onto Raikou. He trinkets. Will he have to block as well? He temp shields, but he gets cheap shot onto the trinket. Tons of damage. Temp shield explodes. Manages to be enough. Ratapai caught into a second screen. It's still match point for Method Black as Mario dips to inches low. Could be an ice block, and yes, it will be. Ratify penetrating into that. We'll be able to stabilize him. Mario cancels the block to try and polymorph up the mate. Trying to get a frozen orb reset. The smoke bomb got life gripped. The smoke bomb got life gripped from Chad. Sick play. Yeah, that was so nicely done. Waz didn't have his trick to be able to send. Yeah, send it really trying to capitalize on that, but like you said, Really good read there from Chaz. Now a kidney shot on the Ratapai. Is there going to be any follow-up CC as Raikou pushes in? He gets interrupted by Morrow. Very nicely done. Raikou oh! is going for damage now. Huge burst over on Morrow, but Ratapai not in any crowd control. Morrow should easily get top. And now Acro is looking to strike back with cheap shot on Waz. Cheap shot on to Raikou. Oh, he's no, no Kevin. CC. Raikou blinks through Morrow and stopped the Ebon Bolt from going off. That was a nice play from Raikou. He's up one block in its match point. This is looking great for Method Black. Are they maybe going to make a swap to Waz? Waz has got his trinket. I don't think there's really any openings there. Method Black have basically secured a free ride, I think, to first place finish. Waz caught into a cheap shot. Chaz caught into a poly. They are trying to make the miracle swap, but Waz could reverse it. Acro trinkets can get stunned on his trinket. This could be the reversal swap onto Acro. He's dipping the too low, but he gets a sap. Will he be able to follow it up with anything else? Doesn't seem like it. They switch back to Raikou. He's locked on Frost for one more second. He can trade it out now if he needs to. Doesn't look like he's going to have to, and they still keep that ice block advantage. Yeah, ascending all 100% HP right now. Good damage over on the Method Black. Chaz finally being able to play a little bit of catch up here, but he's into the kidney shot. Waz now trinkets out of the cheap shot as they make another swap over onto him. Just wants to prevent these stuns, but still, they're going for it. Cheap shot onto Waz. 50% HP. Chaz still caught in the full CC. Waz trinkets out of the polymorph. Waz in so much trouble, but ultimately able to vanish out. That was Chaz's trinket. They made it up. He's trying to sap Waz and wait for the stun DR and sap his faint off. Unfortunately, Waz was dotted. The sap's just break and Acro's plan completely gets destroyed. Now Acro gets caught in a swap with a double psychic trick with smoke bomb and Waz is looking for blood. Method Black are the EU Cup 3 champions, highest point earners, best team in Europe, and looking to prove that they are the best.